And right now, a family is pushing for answers, demanding answers on who killed their loved one. Davion Pullum was found dead in a Cumberland apartment complex parking lot nearly a year ago. Well, tonight, his parents are asking you, the community, for help tracking down his killer. It is our top story right now at 10 o'clock. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Fanchin Stinger. And I'm Dan Spieler. This is Cumberland's only unsolved homicide case from last year. And tonight, Fox 59's Lindsay Eaton shares this message from Devion's parents. It was February 25th. That night, Betty Davis was waiting for her oldest son to come home but he never showed up. He was the glue to the pit. He was. Here at this Cumberland apartment complex, this is where police found 21-year-old Davion Pullum shot and killed. Uh, our son deserves to have justice. He didn't deserve to have what happened to him happen. Now, nearly a year later, this homicide case is still unsolved. This family still doesn't know who shot and killed Davion and why. You were coward enough to do that. You're coward enough to take the chances of what you got coming towards you. Davis doesn't know any connection her son had to the Elm Tree Park apartments, and she's confident he knew his killer. Every time you close his, your eyes, I hope you see my son's face. Every time you try to think about something different, I hope you hear his voice. I hope this is really bothering you. Tomorrow, Davian's parents plan to go door to door handing out these flyers at this apartment complex and other surrounding neighborhoods, hoping someone knows something and comes forward. I just want you guys to speak because anybody who knew Davion that day, they know what type of person he was. Davis refuses to give up and she feels for other families torn by gun violence. For other parents that are going through what I'm going through, this is not an easy road for us at all. Every day, this grieving mother keeps her son close to her heart. His ashes are in this necklace. And every day, she hopes they are closer to getting justice. At the end of the day, you, I'm not the one to judge you. God is the one to judge you. In Cumberland, Lindsay Eaton, Fox 59 News. Lindsay, thank you. Poem's family is holding a balloon release on February 25th to honor him. If you know anything that could help investigators, please call Cumberland Police.